This morning, fertility patients and doctors in Alabama hoping a new law will now pave the way for them to restart IVF treatments left on hold for the last two weeks. All right, 29 eyes, one day, Senate Bill 159, the Senate concurs. The new legislation signed overnight by Republican Governor Kay Ivey meant to shield IVF clinics from costly lawsuits. Civil damages now also sharply limited if an embryo is damaged or destroyed. This bill gives us the ability to immediately offer IVF care to our patients. State lawmakers under pressure to pass something fast after the Alabama Supreme Court found parents could sue for wrongful death when their frozen embryos were destroyed, causing clinics in the state to worry more lawsuits could follow, abruptly halting all IVF procedures. Now, some fertility clinics in the state still evaluating the new landscape. The University of Alabama at Birmingham, the state's largest hospital, saying it's moving to promptly resume treatments, but adding, we will continue to assess developments. But one clinic at the center of the state Supreme Court case telling local outlets, quote, we are not reopening until we have legal clarification. Patients like Megan Cole left in limbo for weeks, now hoping to restart the IVF process once again with the help of a surrogate. We're hopeful that although this has been probably the worst two weeks of our lives, that it will get back on track and we can move forward. with. But some lawmakers acknowledge the new law is only a temporary fix, doing nothing to tackle the underlying reasoning of the court decision, equating frozen embryos to children. We're not addressing this, the core central issue. It is like putting a band-aid on a hemorrhaging wound when we're talking about refusing to address the actual constitutional crisis that we have created. So, Laura, I mean, some clinics are saying, let's wait a minute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's still a legal limbo that exists. The, 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 the politicians in Alabama are trying to fix this, saying, okay, that state Supreme Court doesn't say what you think it might say. But there's still kind of a legal gray area here? Yes, because they can still be sued. Because obviously, the Supreme Court decision trumps everything, right? That's the highest court in the state. And they have still said that embryos are children. All this does is cap the damages, right? Mm -hmm. All this does is just reduce the money damages that the clinics would have to pay if any of the embryos are destroyed. So it shrinks liability. Mm -hmm. Yes. But th there's in no way they, they can't go in there and reverse what the Alabama Supreme Court did. No, but okay. the clinics are saying that does provide some comfort. But again, and it all depends on how much risk they're willing to take. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.